What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and I wanted to talk to you today about the ICR-1 Assault Rifle in Black Ops 3. Now, I think, after using it and absolutely loving it, that this gun reminds me of the ACR. The LCR, the ACR, one letter different, so it's basically the same thing. Now, the old vets of Call of Duty will remember the ACR. Introduced in Modern Warfare 2, that gun was an absolute laser beam. In fact, ACR is in other Call of Duties have always emphasized accuracy above pretty much everything else. They didn't do the most damage when compared to the other assault rifles, but again, they were bloody laser beams. And again, the LCR, the LCR in Black Ops 3 totally reminds me of the good old ACR. Now why is that? It's because this gun again is a bloody laser beam. Using this gun completely unupgraded, you can go full auto from across the map and you don't even question it. You see some guy, some guy with a CUDA long barrel probably, who's head glitching behind something and you can aim at his head and go fully automatic and kill him. Like, it, that's the most amazing part. If you're trying to get someone who's head glitching you with some other weapon, it can be difficult. You're gonna have to kind of struggle the recoil down and specifically aim for the head when you're talking about any sort of fully automatic weapon. But again, with the LCR, it's absolutely no problem. Your sights will not bounce off of his head. It's really fantastic. Now, notice I said fully automatic weapon. When we're talking about Call of Duty, yes, you can have the more accurate weapons like the Shiva, uh, the XR2. Actually, the XR2 is way less accurate than this weapon, but if you have burst fire or semi-automatic weapons, yes, you're going to get a degree more of accuracy than the ICR. But I think people underestimate how important it is to have some degree of forgiveness in your weapon. Every once in a while, no matter how accurate you think you are, there's gonna be a guy who pops up right in front of you. If you have a semi-automatic or burst fire weapon, you can be in trouble. Those weapons tend not to be as forgiving if you're trying to hip fire someone, if you're trying to kill someone in very close range, but if you have something like the ICR, you just hip fire. You just hold the trigger and hip fire and since it's a fully automatic assault rifle that actually doesn't have a bad rate of fire, you can kill that person pretty easily. It happens a lot. So what you have is you have an absolute laser beam of a weapon that is fantastic at taking down enemies at long range. And again, totally reminds me of ACRs of Call of Duty Past. But you also again have that ACR uh, fully automatic assault rifle style of forgiveness that every once in a while if an enemy gets the jump on you and comes up next to you, that you still have a chance to just ah, crap and hit fire and still take him down. And that's why I'm absolutely in love with the ICR. If you're a player who plays a little bit more passively, who instead of maybe running into the objective like an idiot, you kind of stay back a little bit and say, hey, maybe I can uh, take down this hallway. Maybe I can totally control this hallway or control this zone from a little bit further away. You are going to be the player who loves the ICR. I would definitely check this gun out. It's unlocked kind of early at around level 16, 17. So it's going to be, it wasn't available in the beta. So a lot of people are kind of unlocking stuff that they're familiar with, the, uh, the SR2, the HVK, and I think a lot of people are ignoring the ICRs because I do not see as much ICRs as I should considering how powerful this gun is, or at least I feel it is. So again, if you're a passive player who likes to kind of stay a little bit back from the fray and really, really values accuracy, you need to check out the ICR. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful as well. Now, if you did, please remember to rate and share this video. It really helps me out, and if you enjoyed this content and want to see more Black Ops content and also Destiny content, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter. That's linked in the description of this video, as is my Twitch channel, which you can follow as well. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, have a good day.